Hello everyone. Hello everybody. Hi Pallavi. Hi Priya. Thank you so much dears for joining in. Hi Monica. Hi Dhara, thank you so much dear for joining in. Yes, I am doing good. How about you? So today uh, we are going to uh, work with decoupage paper. So all of you know that I have designed this decoupage paper. So basically these are my own uh, paintings that I converted into a designer, uh, sorry decoupage papers. Hi Ekta. Hi Monica, how are you doing today? And again, uh, I have these MDF bases, MDF cutouts that I'm going to work as a base. Okay. Uh, so these cutouts uh, I got from Itsy Bitsy. So I have used lot of the, you know, lot of cutouts from this. So I have few cutouts left in this. So yeah. Hi Rani. So few days back, Rani have created wonderful projects using this uh, decoupage paper. So they are available in my um, group, uh, Facebook group. You can go and check it out. Uh, not now. Uh, you can go after this live. Okay. Hi, Maudi. Thank you so much, dear, for joining in. Uh, thank you so much, Rani. Your support really means a lot to me. Hey, Urvashi. So uh, uh, what I will do, uh, once this live is done, uh, I will uh, share all the pictures, you know, whatever uh, Rani have created using this decoupage paper. Uh, so I will share that picture as well as I have created a few projects. So I will show them as well. But uh, today, uh, first we will uh, create. So if you want, I will give you the look how this decoupage paper looks like hi anita so these are the decoupage papers so these are my uh, handmade paintings okay so i have created these paintings on canvas and uh, then uh, see how beautiful this looks this is one of my favorite hi priyanka Absolutely, Dhara, I will uh, share the pictures. You see? Hi, Vaishali. Thank you so much, dear, for joining in. So, these all are my handmade paintings. And in on each uh, paper, you will get uh, two um, sizes. Like this, you can use for coaster. And this, you can use for any big project. And also you can use this uh, front page as well. So yeah, these are the papers that uh, are with me. And I have few more designs that are coming up uh, soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay. So today uh, what I'm thinking, so this is the set that I'm using. Okay. So today what I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking to use this Buddha. I just love... Oh, that's great, Pallavi. Do share with me. I guess uh, you have shared with me, right? Um, what I will do in uh, my Facebook group, I will create an album. And over there, you can please share your uh, projects uh, that you have created using these papers. Okay. So, 
so these are the papers so today i'm thinking to uh, use this one oh thank you so much vishali <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Sushma. So today, uh, yeah, as I said, I am going to use this. What do you guys say? Shall we use Buddha or shall we go with Krishna? Krishna, I have uh, made like lot of projects using Krishna. Even recently, I have shared a video that where I have used uh, Krishna decoupage paper. So uh, let's go with Buddha because Buddha gives me positive vibes okay so uh, for base i am going to use these mdf uh, cutouts so this kind of a cutouts you can get uh, what you are saying okay now we have a uh, mix boards okay so first i am going to uh, Other these bases together, okay. So, first thing first, just add some gel medium. If you don't have gel medium, don't worry, you can also use any PVA glue for this process, okay. Oh, thank you so much, thank you so much, Dara. So see it's not always necessary to buy uh, you know uh, big size MDF uh, boards you can also uh, collect these kind of uh, cutouts and make your own base okay. so this is how it looks and on top of this I'm going to add this now see here I'm going to add Buddha okay Here we can add a uh, Buddha and uh, you can also convert this piece into some uh, key holder. Here you can add some uh, key holder hooks and your key holder will be done. Or you can uh, directly you know place this piece on wall and your wall decor is done. So there are multiple uses of this. So do let me know shall we convert this into some key holder few days back i have created one key holder using this mdf basis okay and now so uh i didn't read the comments what should we do shall we go with buddha shall we go with krishna or some girl maybe so we have six designs here and if you want to buy this decoupage paper do contact me so you can get these decoupage papers and create beautiful things and also do share with me hi Bhanu Priya dear thank you so much for joining so this is okay. yes absolutely dhara key holder will be useful so if we need to add key hooks we need to uh, bring this little bit upper side so here we will get uh, space okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut this and these are uh, kind of you know uh, thick papers so you can also use uh, resin on it so all up to you guys hi Soumya and now see i'm thinking to use this frame on top of this so what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut uh, cut this paper okay so randomly i'm going to cut this so kind of this and from this side as well let's cut it here so roughly uh, i have cut it 
and don't worry if some edges are visible we are going to cover it with some um, texture paste so don't worry about that so see this is how it will look hi madhu see this is how it will look if you want you can also cut little bit more and here as well see how beautiful it's looking and now let's uh, stick this oops i haven't forgot i forgot to stick this one okay so for sticking purpose i am using gel medium again if you don't have gel medium then use any kind of a pva glue or fevicol uh, or silicone glue also works Okay. just add it so since we are going to add key hooks over here so I am uh, adding this uh, this little upper side otherwise I plan to add this in middle that's okay and also adding this piece will give the strength because we have uh, stick these three pieces together so uh, this piece will give a uh, strength to this uh, back okay oh uh, thank you so much monica do let me know if you would like to work with them i will surely send you or i will send you a soft copy and you can print and uh, use this so this i can do okay hi shilpa hi pizza okay so now uh, first what we will do first we will uh, prime this okay and I uh, will show you I have created one more piece using this Oops. so see this I have created in one of our live so uh, this is also using uh, my decoupage paper so on this you can also put some resin to you know give this piece a shine so you can do that thank you so much janvi so uh, this video is available on my uh, page so this was done in live only hi hina okay so this is done okay now what i will do i will uh, first prime this uh, because we are working on mdf so priming is kind of necessary no matter whatever surface is uh, there you have to prime your uh, surface okay so i'm using a bit hard bristle brush a big hi on instagram guys thank you so much for joining in Okay, so now I will just add white gesso if you want you can also go with black gesso or if you don't have gesso then go with a uh, chalk paint chalk paint also work as a gesso sorry primer so chalk paint also work as a primer so you can use that So roughly I am uh, adding chalk paint on this. So I am just adding roughly because uh, once we add some texture again we are going to cover that, uh, cover that with white gesso. So don't worry if your brush uh, strokes are visible hi Hansa thank you so much dear for joining in how are you doing today okay so this is done See how quickly we have covered our base. 
and this mdf i got from the element craft studio so most of the time my mdfs are from element craft studio so just in case if you like to purchase you can visit their site and buy okay so this is done and now uh, i'll just quickly dry this so hopefully my audio and video is clear right i i forgot to ask ah oh, thank you so much dara it really means a lot when you know uh, you guys find these tips useful so yeah so this is done hi kavita yes absolutely fiza the mdf from uh, element craft studio is perfect and awesome and good quality and they are kind of you know nicely finished as well so now we will add this buddha here for that i am going to use a uh, decoupage glue so this decoupage glue is from a fabric grill uh, yes vaishali i have casted this using a um, resin so few days back we had a session for resin and uh, that time the whatever resin was spilled uh, on the mat i have collected that into a bowl and i casted uh, and i pour this resin into a mold so that's why it's looking you know like colorful <laughs> but yeah i don't like to waste my stuff so yeah now just take out the decoupage glue and using a uh, soft bristle brush i am going to apply this decoupage glue onto the surface so i am here i am using soft bristle brush because i don't want my glue uh, you know like um, have a um, how to say a uh, thick strokes So just carefully i have applied glue here and now i'm going to place this so uh i'm just looking for something that i can place it with just put this and using some uh, you know some uh, base just spread it nicely so there will be no bubbles into it so this tape is absolutely necessary if you don't want any bubble or any you know um, and this press it firmly to so see there is no bubble into this and also there is no wrinkle okay and now we will place our frame here okay like this so see how beautiful it's looking i'm just loving this uh ah uh, thank you so much sushma thanks for your help okay and to add uh, for adding frame i am adding uh, i am using gel medium because decoupage glue will not hold this frame so that's the reason i am using gel medium here okay just little amount of gel medium here Okay, and place it. 
like this and don't worry if some of the paper is visible uh, we are going to cover that with some texture paste so don't worry about that see how beautiful it's looking yes manisha i do have embellishment molds for sale do let me know if you want to buy okay so this is done okay and now we will add some texture paste so that it will look you know kind of all together so for texture paste i am using this stone paste so just take a um, texture paste on your palette knife and add it <coughs> extremely sorry for that guys I will be needing one more knife. Oh, thank you so much, guys. So, this kind of a texture paste are really uh, useful to fill the space. You can also use any um, stencil. Oops, I don't want it here. Come on, buddy. Why are you messing with me? Okay. That's done. Now here. So see the paper uh, we have covered it with paste. So now just spread it. And here just uh, spread little bit so that uh, you will not have any harsh edges. Okay. Thank you so much Anita. Hi Sunita. So I am going to do this process all over. So just in case if you don't have this kind of a frame. You can also... Uh, you know cover the edges of your decoupage paper with this kind of a paste so that will also look nice so the painting which i have created of this buddha it was kind of um three feet by uh three feet uh, no, not three uh maybe uh four feet yeah so it was on square uh, canvas and it was uh, three three or four feet by four feet so i do have a making process of this on my youtube channel just in case if you'd like to watch you can go and watch but not now uh, once my life is done okay so this is done and let's add some more in here Oops. Okay. You see, this is done. Uh, Kavita and Madhu, I am using this um, stone paste. So, this is how the stone paste looks. And just in case if you don't find this kind of a stone paste you can just add some granules into your PVA glue and your stone paste is done. Okay so here it's done and now uh, here I will add another texture paste. Okay. Can we add normal texture paste or shall we add a again granule texture paste okay so here i will add this one so this paste is from um, expressions craft okay ah uh, thank you so much maori so again just uh, 
take paste on your palette knife and spread it So see a uh, simple texture paste uh, gives amazing texture on your project as well as interest and you don't uh, need any kind of you know um, tools if you don't have uh, again if you don't have this kind of a paste just go with some sand and PVA glue trust me that will also give same effect. So I'm just spreading it out a little bit. Okay. Yes, this one is from Little Birdie, and this one, the way uh, the uh, one which I'm using, it's from uh, Expressions Craft. So uh, we all have, you know, a Rangoli at home, right? So this kind of a rangoli or fine sand. So see. Uh, okay, so see. So you can just mix this sand uh, into PVA glue and your texture paste is done. Just in, in case if you don't want to invest in uh, you know lot of materials then you can do this kind of a DIYs. I do have few DIYs on my YouTube channel just in case, oops, just in case if you want to uh, check, you can check that out. And do let me know if you want to win this piece. So, if you would like to have this piece, I will arrange a giveaway, maybe today itself. And one of you guys might win a, win this piece, right? So, do let me know. So, now see, uh, this is almost done. Okay. So, I have added this paste roughly as you can see. There is no pattern that I have followed. And now it's looking very plain. Okay. So just uh, tap your palette knife onto this paste. So that way you will get kind of a you know raised texture. So just tap it. And now uh, on the uh, other portion, I will add some normal texture paste. And for that also I have DIY on my YouTube channel. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vaishali. Oops, this texture paste is almost dried. I need... So this texture paste is almost dried so what I will do I will just take little amount of texture paste and on the sides I am going to add it oops okay this is dried can't do anything with this let me take other texture paste okay so I have this expression craft one okay so this is good just sprinkle little amount of water into it just sprinkle little amount of water and add this texture paste so this is also kind of dried but we can work with this so this will give very nice you know um, raised texture on your project just just smooth it out little bit here okay so 
so see this kind of a project you can create within an like say half hour or 45 minutes and uh, you can also give this kind of items <clears throat> to your family and friends also if you know on housewarming party these are amazing gift so this is done almost done Oh, thank you so much for Lavi. So I'm just uh, dragging this into the sand paste. So uh, that way we will get nice effect as well. almost done guys so here also I'm going to add and once it dries completely then uh, we can add hooks so for adding hooks we need to drill this little bit not little bit completely we need to drill and then we can add just spread it out see this is looking amazing if you are a fan of you know this kind of a grungy texture then you will definitely like this piece we are done here thank you Maudi and little bit here and now see you can also dab your tech, uh, palette knife onto this to get a raised texture I'll just show you like how just press and lift press and lift so now my texture paste are kind of dried so that's why I'm not getting that effect okay but if your texture paste is new you will get that effect just so just press and lift press and lift See, I hope you are able to see. Oops, since my texture paste has dried, they are uh, coming off, but that's okay. We can work with them. I need to buy some texture paste now. So we are almost done here see and now we will dry this quickly and now I can see my screen I don't want it oh, thank you so much Padma thank you Sunita hi Priyanka now i'll just dry this and since uh, we have decoupage this one so don't apply heat over here otherwise uh, it will just you know the paper will pop off so don't apply heat over there Oh, that's okay Priyanka so now quickly I am drying this okay. See, this is dried also we are working on MDF so just uh, distribute your heat otherwise there is a chance that you can uh, ruin the MDF as well
कविता द हीट विल अफेक्ट द रेजन एम्बलिशमेंट बट नॉट इन यू नो सीरियस वे सो यू कैन वर्क विद दैट यू कैन वर्क विद दैट सो देर इज नो इश्यू यू जस्ट हैव टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द हीट दैट सॉल्व एंड अगेन इफ यू बाय दिस काइंड ऑफ रेजन एम्बलिशमेंट देन यू कैन बेन दैट Uh, and you can use them around some cylindrical portion so in last live i have shown that so uh, thank you so much maudi so now uh, again what i'm going to do here i'm going to cover this using gesso and then we will color it and our project will be done so see it's only been i guess uh, half hour right and in half hour we have uh, done lot of stuff so now just cover this so i'm using hard bristle brush here because we have a lot of texture going on here and also i'm dabbing my brush little bit because i don't want uh, the texture to get ruined so that's the reason i'm just dabbing my brush little bit here Okay. Amina, this is heat tool that I am using, and it's not a normal heat tool. It's available at uh, hardware store. So this is not a craft heat heat tool. So for craft, which we use, it has a kind of you know low um, watts. Almost done here. so just dab your brush and that way your brush bristle will go into all the intricacy of this you know paste and it will get cover and my hubby is also learning from this see we have cover entire uh, piece with white gesso and now here oops i don't want anything on this and now for frame what i will do i will add uh, i will use some small brush because i don't want any gesso on this decoupage paper yeah okay so i'm just uh, Oh yes, yes, absolutely, Sushma. So just using my small brush, I'm covering this. So this way, whatever we have put in our project, it gets prime, and it's ready for you know to accept more mediums over it. so that's the reason priming is kind of necessary when it comes to mixed media you can prime your embellishment first and then other it on your project but i forgot to do that but yeah that's okay Okay, we are almost done here. Okay, and now we will color this. <laughs> Absolutely, Tara. <laughs> yes they have become half crafter and then they uh, spread knowledge like you know they have uh, uh, master the uh technique <laughs> my hobby is kind of you know a big critic of my work so uh, whenever i do something he is the one who criticizes my work a lot in a good way not in a bad way like but yeah <laughs> thank you sonia
थैंक यू लॉर्ड सोनिका ओके सो दिस इज डन नाउ एंड नाउ वी विल कलर दिस ओके सो सिंस वी हैव ब्राउनिश एंड लाइक यू नो बेच कलर थीम गोइंग ऑन इन दिस सो आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस चॉक पेंट दे विल वर्क विथ दिस दे विल एब्सोल्युटली गो विथ दिस वन ओके सो आई ऑलमोस्ट रैन आउट ऑफ दिस so now see instead of uh, jessoing you can also uh, uh, <laughs> no he uh, he might appreciate but he won't tell you on your face so that's what my husband do uh, does a lot of time because then he thinks that you know main kaam nahi karungi agar zyada appreciation mila to yeah so uh, instead of uh, jesso uh, you can also use chalk paint but since we have added lot of stuff here so that's the reason i have um, jesso it first okay so now um, i'll just spray little amount of water on my base so that way my colors will flow you can also use um, spray paints but i just love the you know um, matte finish in my project so that's the reason i love using chalk paints so just add chalk paints also add chalk paint on this frame and later we will uh, cover this uh, sorry later we will add some gold highlights on this so just take little amount of water and spread it on your project just add little bit paint here Hi Vaishali. Oh, so she... <laughs> yes, abra ka abra. So for that we need uh, to add paint here. Okay, so this is done here. So sometimes while creating, I do blabber a lot, guys. So please bear with me. So now here I am just taking uh, water. and uh, spreading it out for lighting uh, for lighter the uh, you know for lighting the shade and don't worry right now uh, it's not looking at all interesting but uh, we will work on that so now we are just building the layers of you know color so just take water and i am diluting my chalk pens with water hope see here it's not dried i'm just going to dab my brush okay so you know in decoupage when you are doing decoupage just choose colors which are there in your decoupage paper so that way uh, it will look like you know all uh, all together if you choose different shades it won't go along and then uh, you will have kind of uh, distorted look of color so always choose colors which are there in your decoupage paper So now see I have covered this and now so some color uh, is still wet so using my tissue paper 
I'm just picking the excess paint here. See how beautiful effect we are getting here. So that's the reason I have applied lot of water because uh, I can leave the paint afterwards and here also I will apply some water and just leave the paint. So this way you will get very nice grungy look. My tissue is almost done. Uh, what you are saying Amina, uh, which heat tool to buy, how many watts? Amina, uh, I am using this, uh, this hardware store wala, uh, heat gun, okay. And uh, I recommend you to use this one because uh, your project will get dry immediately, okay. And if you use craft one, so it has very low uh, watt, so it takes little time to... Uh, dry your project so i am kind of impatient so yeah that's the reason i am using this one and this one is cheap than a uh, craft a uh, craft uh, head gun so just search on amazon or i will link down uh, below oh, sorry i am not on oh i forgot that i am not on youtube <laughs> okay so once this live is done i will definitely uh, give the uh, link of this okay so don't worry about that so see i have lifted out the uh, paint and now using same brush i will just add uh, this one the red one not red this kind of burgundy shade which shade is this this is a desert grape so i'm just going to add this one and i don't remember how many watts of this uh, head gun is but this is kind of uh, you know double the what that uh, craft head gun have so at some places i'm just adding this paint just add a little amount of water okay maybe this color wasn't necessary but that's okay okay so just here and there so any question on instagram okay so just done with this So see how beautiful you know a uh, wall kind of look we got here if we have used a uh, gray and kind of black then uh, we have might got the uh, what you call that mm, stone uh, stone effect yes amina only say uh, hit tool hi bolna hai तो वो आपको निकाल के दे देगा हिट टूल जो भी है हिट गन बोलते हैं इसको या सो नाउ दिस इज डन ओके एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई सम मेटालिक वैक्स एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड सम मोर ऑफ दी We can also add some more green uh, in this, but maybe green will uh, ruin the look. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so now here on this, I'm going to add some metallic wax, okay? And uh, 
for that i have this metallic wax with me so this metallic wax is from dadarkar arts so using my finger i am going to add a metallic wax so you will see like how it get enhance quickly see oops i pick up little bit more wax just little bit of wax just in case again if you don't have wax then go with a uh, normal acrylic paints i just find wax you know a uh, kind of uh, easier to apply so yeah but with acrylic paint as well you will get similar effect so don't worry about that hi rajvinder hi amina okay so here it's done and now on this i just feel we got kind of you know grungy look on this so here it's not dry i will just dry this quickly so since this is not dried yet i'll just let it dry little bit and meanwhile i'll just uh, finish the edges we can't apply heat a uh, lot of heat here because uh, we have you know done decoupage so the paper will get puff so that's the reason i'm not adding much of the heat uh, over there okay so see it's done it's done here you can also distress it little bit here just in case if you want you can add some black shading around the butta here i am just dabbing it because it's not dried yet thank you so much rajinder it really means a lot to me when you guys you know take time from your uh busy schedule and join me live so that really uh, make my day okay so this is done here and now uh, uh the outside part i'm going to add some white gesso just to enhance the uh, you know look and not this one okay so just take little amount of white gesso on your brush so i'm going to dry brush this so just little amount of white brush eh, sorry uh, white gesso on your brush and using a uh, light pressure just add this so see the texture whatever we have added it getting a uh, pop so look at this see so whatever texture we have added here it's getting pop now and this and if you want you can also add some uh, gold uh, leaf as well that also gives nice effect can we add some gold leaf here what do i say will it look nice so see how beautiful it's looking and it's not at all looking like you know we have pasted a uh, md of pieces and make a base it's not at all looking like that it just looking whole base together so for background uh, sorry back of the thing it's looking like that but here 
it looks like we have you know one base like okay so this is done oh thank you so much rani so uh, now we can add some more you know black uh, shading here so that way that way it will look nice let me add it little bit here just to give finishing touch so using liner brush i'm just picking up little bit of black oops just picking up little bit of black and just around this corner sorry just around this piece i am adding it so this will just enhance the look nothing nothing else and also it will create nice shading just dilute it little bit Oh, thank you so much, Kavita. And you can also uh, follow same process onto a decoupage paper as well, just to add depth. So just add paint and using water, just dilute it. So this way. Uh, we get nice uh, you know shading around this piece so this is almost done our project is almost done and now i will add some uh, hooks and it will be you know uh, our key holder Just, I'm just diluting it little bit with water. So see little bit of black gesso around it and we got nice shading. Oh, thank you so much Monica. Definitely, definitely uh, I will uh, share the you know digital file with you. And here also you can add. just take little bit of i'm using here black gesso but you can use um, acrylic paints and uh, just a little bit so this create very nice depth okay and wherever you feel like you have harsh line just take little amount of water and dilute it so this is done we can also add some more uh, you know gold leaf as well if you want oh thank you so much swati so uh Look at the texture we got here. So here I will, uh, oops, here I am going to add some uh, hooks. Uh, maybe four hooks will be enough. And our key holder is done. So see how quickly we have finished this project. Maybe one hour, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this process. And, uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much guys. So we didn't need this color. I'm just putting this color back. Okay. Ah, uh, Thank you so much Pizza. Thank you Sushma. Can we add some gold leaf uh, here? Will it look nice? Or I have some gold leaf here. We can use that. Right. 
I do have bronze one as well but since we have added a uh, metallic here oops why it's not opening okay so we can add this kind of a uh, gold leaf so see this is how the leaf looks like we can add this can we add some like little bit here and there or uh, shall we finish this what do you guys say do let me know i'm just waiting for your answer Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Vishwanath, uh, for your hearts. It really means a lot. Thank you, Monica. Uh, yes, Priya is saying yes. Okay. So, let's add uh, a little bit, not much. So, using decoupage glue only, I am going to add. Okay. And for that, again, take a... Um, Again, take a soft bristle brush, okay, and just add some glue here, maybe. And since this uh, leaf is really delicate, okay, just trace it. So we don't want too much of uh, gold leafing, so just here and there, okay. So just put it and uh, using same brush just you know uh, press it so once it dries completely it will look nice see how beautiful it's looking I just love using this kind of a gold leaf in my paintings. I never use this in my mixed media project. So this is the first time that I have used. But in painting, abstract painting, it gives really amazing finish. Heard this. Uh, thank you so much Fiza. See how beautiful it's looking. Just keep this here and uh, I need one more. So I got this uh, gold leaves from Amazon only. Just in case if you want I will uh, link that uh, in one of my post. Just a second guys. Oops. Just a little bit here. And these are uh, really... Um, okay sorry i forgot what i was saying that's okay <laughs> and maybe here okay i don't want to overdo it so now it's done so look at this how beautiful you know little uh gold leafing and we got amazing finish I'm just taking out the excess. So look at this. Yes, Sushma, that's the word fragile. <laughs> okay. So while creating, it does happen with me. So thank you so much for bearing that with me. And now uh, we can call this piece as a finished piece. Do let me know if you want to win this. So I will uh, make another post for that. And I will... Uh, let you know what you have to do to win this uh, piece and meanwhile I will also add uh, so guys this decoupage glue is really amazing to use so just in case if you want a uh, decoupage uh, mod podge then uh, you can go with this and this is really uh, cheap as well so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this process and thank you so much thank you so much pallavi can you varnish this yes absolutely priya varnishing is uh, necessary uh, so that uh, you know it will uh, help to you know prevent dust and everything so varnishing is kind of necessary 
so i varnish all my projects so once they are done once they are completely dry i uh, varnish it so for varnish i use uh, this one most of the time so this is spray varnish so this gives amazing uh, glossy effect there are uh, some matte uh, finish varnish also available but i like i like a glossy one so yeah so i hope you guys have enjoyed this process and thank you so much uh, thank you fiza so i will be back and um, yeah now uh, i need to work on my uh, ganesha as well because we uh, ganesha festival is coming and i have to decorate my home because we have ganesha uh, at home for um, 10 days so maybe those 10 days i won't be able to do live but i will definitely try uh, to do that so yeah thank you so much guys for joining in and if you would like to see any kind of a technique uh, do let me know i will definitely plan one um, live for that thank you monica thank you hina thank you priya so i will be back till then bye bye take care and happy creating what you are saying uh, you give two coats yes i uh, sometimes i give two coats sometimes one coat is absolutely fine so i'll just show you uh, where i have used two coats so the here i have used two coats because i have kind of you know a um, lot of uh, texture was going here so here i have used two coats so this is also we have done in one of my live so the, this this video is also available on my page and if you would like to purchase this uh, decoupage paper then do contact me i do have this decoupage paper for sale so yeah bye bye take care and happy creating thank you fiza you too